Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're going to continue our place value understanding by uh, considering place value shifts when multiplying by 10. Our objective says I can recognize place value patterns when multiplying by 10. So we're going to practice multiplying by 10. In a previous video, we used place value disks to help us visualize and see the actual quantities. Today, we're just going to use digits like this, 4. So I want to take 4, and I want to multiply it by 10. So before, with the place value disks, I ended up with 4 groups of 10 that I then bundled up and made it into 4 10s instead of 40 ones. So I've got... 4 times 10, I'm going to make that uh, 4 10 times bigger, so I'm going to shift it to the next place value over. 4 times 10 is 4 tens. Now I can't prove that's 4 tens unless I also show how many ones that I have so that that actually shows up in the tens place. So I have 4 tens and 0 ones. Notice you could also read that as 40 ones, and that's exactly what happens when I take 4 and I make 10 groups of 4. I make 40 ones, but I can bundle them up and make 4 tens. Okay, now I want to take the number 6 and 3 tenths. Remember with decimal numbers, we read the digits to the left like we normally would, and then we read AND for the decimal, and then we read the digits afterwards just like we would read numbers before, but then we use the label of the last place value. So this is 6 and 3 tenths. Say it with me, please. Six and three tenths. I want to take six and three tenths and make that number ten times bigger. So I have to make each of these parts ten times bigger. So I'm going to make the six ten times bigger by moving it to the tens place, and three tenths ten times bigger by moving it to the ones place. So six becomes six ones becomes six tenths, three tenths becomes six ones. So six and three tenths when made 10 times bigger, becomes 63. Now, you might want to put something in the tenths place because you had something there before. Well, we have zero tenths. You can put that there if you want to, but it's not necessary. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, our next number. Again, we read the numbers to the left like usual, so that's 58. And then we read the word and for the decimal point. And then we read the digits to the right, just like we would if they were to the left. That says 12. But then we label it with the place value uh, name of the last digit. So that would be 58 and 12 hundredths. Say it with me, please. 58 and 12 hundredths. Okay, I want to take 58 and 12 hundredths and multiply it by 10. So I need to make each of those place values, those digits, go 10 times bigger and move in our place value chart because each part is going to get 10 times bigger. So 5 tens becomes five hundredths, uh, eight ones becomes eight tenths, one tenth becomes one one, two ten hundredths becomes two tenths. So my new number is 581 and two tenths. Read it with me please. 581 and two tenths. Our objective says I can recognize place value patterns when multiplying by 10. When I make a number 10 times bigger, I just move each of the parts one place value higher than it had been before, making the number 10 times bigger. What do you think you're going to do if you multiply by 100? 100 is two place value shifts. So if I multiplied 4 times 100, I would move the 4 to the hundreds place. I would move 2 place values larger when I multiplied by 100. And if I multiplied by 1,000, it would be three place value sizes bigger. Each of those digits would be shifted. So again, the pattern is multiplying by 10. Each digit shifts one place value larger to make the number 10 times bigger than it was before. Thanks for watching.